What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Advice. We are finally back again. I hope you didn't miss me too much. You know, first and foremost, I am a gamer before I'm a YouTuber, YouTubist, YouTube creator. Um, so I just wanted to get comfortable with the game, you know, get familiarized with how everything works, where all the important in-game locations are, and, you know, things I could find that were useful to share with you. But I also wanted to complete my Pokedex. You know, I'm really big into shiny breeding, so I thought it'd be nice to have the shiny charm early and you know, I just wanted to enjoy playing the game first before I made content, you know. But uh, I appreciate y'all waiting on me. And uh, we are back and ready to start finally creating some content. So the first thing I want to do for y'all is I want to provide this little tutorial, little brief summary video essay on how to EV train a bunch of Pokemon at once. So there are some really important items for this that I'd recommend buying. So you go to the Mesa Goza, and uh, if you look for this little icon here it's pretty much in every big city you'll find one deli bird presents it's a little briefcase looking thing um chancy supplies also but chancy supplies where you get vitamins deli bird presents has a lot of great items but the ones that we are specifically looking for are these power items so you got power bracer power belt power lens power band anklet and weight each one uh is dedicated to a specific stat so like the bracers for attack the belts for defense you can see it in the description so on and so forth um and i recommend buying five or six of each you know that way if you want to ev train a bunch of pokemon at once <clears throat> you can do that so you can see the pokemon in my party they're all special attackers i've slapped four power lenses on them each one equipped uh, will now get every time a pokemon is defeated or captured regardless of what pokemon it is each one of those Pokemon, even if they didn't participate in the battle, they were just there with the EXP share, will get eight special attack EVs. So these Pokemon here in this party, uh, the EV spreads I've built for them require each one of them to have a different amount of special attack. You know, the Spothor is going to have 228 special attack, Gastrodon 220, Hydreigon 196, and Slowpoke 156. So I'm going to show you how to, uh, you know, make sure to do what you need to do to make sure that happens while still training them all at once but i want to show you some good locations in the game to ev train so if you jump right here over this fence to the right of your house you jump down there in the water every single pokemon down there the magikarp the buizel the wingle and a little bit of Aracuda every once in a while all of them give speed evs so you can go down there you don't have to worry about getting caught off guard by a pokemon you don't want to battle and uh if the pokemon you're trying to ev train are all holding the power anklet item so say these all had power anklets instead of the power lens and i was trying to ev train them for speed i do 28 battles 28 times 9 is 252 and boom after 28 battles which sounds like a lot but um you know it goes pretty quickly when they're all right there in the same area and you know what you're looking for uh you know that 28 battles goes quickly and boom all of them after the 28 battles which you know takes like maybe 10 minutes 12 minutes at most will have maxed out speed so what i like to do when i'm doing this is i like to take a pokemon that's strong that has a move that has a quick animation like quick attack with 30 30 is a nice solid number um of pp so i know you know to max out one stat like i said 28 battles you're never gonna have to use more than 30 um but i like to use a nice solid number in one attack to keep track of how many battles i've done when i'm ev training so you know i went down there say i knocked out 28 there'd be two evs left or sorry, two PP left, but I'd have maxed out all the EVs in my party if they were holding the power anklet. So this location right here is great for uh, doing speed EV training. And if you run down this little pathway in front of your house and make this hard left right here, cut left skirt, um, you'll find a lot of really valuable Pokemon. And the reason these Pokemon are valuable um, is if you're a VGC player, you're going to want to use the move Protect a lot. And to craft the Protect TM, it requires material. And Lechonk, as well as Scatterbug, usually there's like a Scatterbug right around here somewhere. Whatever, we'll find one. But Scatterbug and Lechonk are the Pokemon that you need to KO to get the materials necessary to make Protect. And Protect is the TM I'm probably going to be using most predominantly in a, my Scarlet Violet playthrough and and time making content so I figured this is a great place to EV train to make sure I always have enough of the materials necessary to make protect TM so you can see Lechonk are everywhere one Lechonk equals one HP EV but again if you slap on the power weight item 
onto the Pokemon in your party. Now, instead of just getting one for a Lechonk being defeated, they're getting nine. And again, you don't have to have that Pokemon that you're trying to EV train battle. Uh, as long as they're in the party and have free EV slots left, they still have remaining EV um, pool. They will get nine uh, HP EVs for every Lechonk you defeat. So, great place for HP EV training. Um, and then for defense, I like to find these Tarantulas. Tarantula right here, they give you one defense EV each, and they're all over the place. You can see, boom, three here, another two up there. And every time you beat one, more respawn. Um, and then every once in a while, while you are fighting Lechonk and Scatterbug, or sorry, Lechonk and Tarantula, a Scatterbug will appear. And so uh, if we don't find a Scatterbug, you can see it in the thumbnail, but it's a little black and gray bug. Um, but usually, you know, when you're beating a bunch of Tarantula, a Scatterbug will appear here or there. And a Scatterbug is the other Pokemon necessary for getting the materials for Protect TM. So um, you get the Scatterbug droppings, you get the Lechonk droppings, and uh, here's a Scatterbug right here, little guy in the grass. That's what they look like. Um, they give defense EVs. So these two Pokemon in the frame right here, Tarantula in the top left, hanging from the tree, and Scatterbug both give one defense EV each. Um, so they're good Pokemon to EV train for defense. Um, again, we got Lechonk for HP. And then for Special Defense, Special Defense is one of the tougher ones in the game because there's not a lot of Pokemon that do give Special Defense EVs, but we just so happen to have them in here, um, and that's Hopip. So usually there's one flying around by this tree. If you want to target something in the air, you hold the left trigger down, the, the ZL button, it'll let you lock in, and uh, you can press the ZR button to throw your Pokeball at them, and that'll make them battle. But um, if you don't find any over here, Usually there's some Hopip in this area right over here. Come on, Hopip, don't do me like that. All right, well, so here's the thing is if you don't find them, what you can do is you can just run out. A couple of scatter bugs, boom, one right there, one right there. If you're not finding the Pokemon you're looking for, oh, boom, here they are. They're always going to end up appearing. So, boom, that's one, two, three, four, five Hopip. Um, each one gives you one special defense EV. But if you're holding the power band, which is the one that gives you eight special defense EVs, that's five times nine. You got 45. Just right here, you got 45 special defense EVs looking at you. So, um, But yeah, what I was going to say is if you can't find the Pokemon you're looking for, just run out of the area. Boom. As soon as you see that little Cabo Paco Poco pop up, run back in. And all the Pokemon will refresh. Let's see if we can find Hopips in the area I usually find them at. So usually you find one or two flying around by this tree. Nah, they're not cooperating. And then you can usually find some... Oh no, Lechonk. I don't want to do you like this, Lechonk. I'm going to let you off easy. I'm going to just run from you. And now that Lechonk, you know, he's going to grow up into a big, strong Oink Lidge or whatever, Oink alone. And, uh, you know, he's going to have the confidence that he made a master trainer run away. All right, so we can't find any hop-ups, but we did see that they are in this area. They were hanging out in this little patch. Um, and hopefully you'll be luckier than me when you're trying to train for special defense. But like I said, special defense is usually the hardest one to train for. Here's another one right there, hop -ip. Um But yeah, so we covered HP. We covered special defense with the hop -ip. We covered um, Tarantula and Scatterbug for defense. And uh, now I want to go over the uh, offensive stats we got attack and special attack now when i want to train for attack what i do is i fly over here i'm going to go to the central location of mesa goza and go to the right so this one to the right right here this pokemon center is where i like to go to train for my attack evs because you will find a lot of shinx and young goose together and shinx and young goose are the easiest pokemon to find that give attack evs if you want to do two EVs at a time, you can do Flamigo, but I feel like it's easier to keep track um, with just one EV at a time. And there's a Young Goose right here. There's a Shinx right here. Another Young Goose and a bunch of Shinx. So you can see, if you just run up and down this area, the Pokemon that give attack I, uh, EVs are abundant. Spoink right here, this little bouncing pig you can see a couple of, that's another Pokemon besides Hopip. They give special defense, so... What I like to do is if I'm in an area that tends to have a lot of Pokemon or I notice, oh, there's a lot of this Pokemon here, I'll just go to Cerebi.net, look that Pokemon up, and you can see the Pokemon's EV yield pretty easily. And uh, 
it's a good way to figure out what each Pokemon yields. So like I know Makuhita gives HP. Uh, I know Nackley, the little rock or the little mushroom rock over here, gives defense. Um, Rookie D gives speed, and like I said, Spoink, Spoink, and Hoppip are the most common Pokemon you can find that give special defense. So we got all the EVs we need looking at us right here, but uh, it's really easy to find Shinx and Young Goose in this area. So that's for attack. And then when I want to train for special attack. I go back to Mesa Goza and then go to the left right here. And you can see all these little areas with the with the squares. Those are the small live fields. So I fly to Cortondo East. Boom. Say goodbye to the Shinx. And uh, I can start training for special attack. So that's what I'm going to do today um, in this video to, to finish things off. But like I was saying, each one of these Pokemon in my party that I'm training are going to have a different special attack number. So what I want to do... I know that Smoliv and Mareep, those are the Pokemon I'm looking for. And usually once you find a Pokemon and you start battling it, more will appear. But here's a whole flock of Mareep. Mareep are the reason why I have these protective pads on my uh, my Pontiac, my Talonflame. Because uh, Mareep have static, and so when I quick attack them, I don't want to get staticked. Oh, dang, we got a little Gimme Ghoul coin. But uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so... 6 times 9, that's 54. I'm looking at 54 special attack EVs right here in front of me. And it's, they're all one quick attack away from going down. So, um, really easy way to max out my special attack. And then, boom, you can see the small lives right here next to them. So, these are all the Pokemon I'm looking for. But what I want to do is a little bit of math first. We got to get the math out of the way. So, I know Espothra is going to want 228 EVs. I know Gastrodon's going to want 220. I know Hydreigon's going to want 196. And Slowpoke's going to want 156. So what I do is I put them in order from least to greatest. So I know which one to take out of the party first. And then math-wise, 156 divided by 9 is 17.3. So that means that I'm going to have to battle just over 17 um, of these Mareep or Small Lives to get Slowpoke the, the number he wants. So what I'm going to do is when I'm using Quick Attack, uh, because I'm trying to get to... 17 pp used 30 minus 17 that's 13 so once i've once i have 13 pp left i know that i'm just about done training slowpoke the only thing is that 156 divided by 9 is 17.3 that means that there's just a couple evs left i still need to get so what you can do is we know we're not going to go to 18 because that would give me too many i'm going to go math 9 times 17, you know, 17 battles done, and then 9 EVs each time, and that equals 153. Now, because I need 156 uh, Slowpoke EVs for special attack, and 17 battles only going to give me 153, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brace, the power lens off. So you put away the held item, and then keep battling, do 3 more battles, that's going to put you from 153 to 156, boom. Once Slowpoke has all his EVs, you can put him back in the box and keep going with the rest, you know, because uh, Hydreigon, 196 divided by 9 is 21.7, so I'm going to need just over 21 battles with Hydreigon. And Gastrodon, 220. Uh, 220 divided by 9 is 24.44, um, so just over 24 battles for Gastrodon and Espothera. So um, if you want to cut out of the video now, you know how it's done. You can cut out, but what I'm gonna actually do is just do it real quick just to show you You know, it doesn't take too much time to do this EV training And you don't even have to use any if you keep the math right You don't even have to use any of your feathers So I'm gonna give Slowpoke back this power lens and I'm gonna start battling so boom We take on the first Mareep you can see there's plenty of these Mareep waiting for slaughter I'm gonna hit it with a quick quick attack Bang one down 16 to go for Slowpoke. Let's do another one. And again, these Mareep, if you are training against them, it is good to have protective pads on your Pokemon because it's annoying getting static. Um, you, obviously, you can heal yourself in between battles, but protective pad is an easy you know, countermeasure. My grandpa told me, he said, an ounce of prevention... Is worth a pound of cure you know so it's better to be prepared beforehand and use the little prevention methods instead of having to you know fix something once once there's an issue so boom 
if you're doing something else and you forget how many of the Pokemon you've battled, you look at your PP. All right, there's three PPUs, so I know I've used three. Here's four, and that means I have 13 battles left against Small Liver Mareep. So, you know, it goes pretty quickly, especially when you're just doing this by yourself. And uh, I like to train one stat at a time instead of, you know, like if I knew that these Pokemon needed special an attack and, you know, another IV. Um, it's just not worth, you know, trying to keep track of, you know, battling other Pokemon. So I like to just specify, boom, right now I'm doing special attack training. Alright, that's six down. Eleven to go. And another thing is, if you accidentally go too far on a Pokemon, you can go over here. And you can go to these items. We got Pomeg Berry, Kelpsy Berry, Koala, Hondu, Grepa, and Tomato. And these will all take 10 EVs off of a Pokemon. So, um, you know, you hope to not have to use these, but there are certain fields where if you find one, you'll find a bunch of these items. And you can see uh, just from running around playing the game for a week and a half, two weeks, I've gotten a lot of these berries. So, um, those are youthful. And then the. Uh, the Dondozo Titan that you fight, if you go around in that area where the Dondozo uh, live, you'll find feathers. And so these feathers are useful too. Um, you see 281 Swift, 274 Clever, 139 Genius, uh, 195 Resist, 596 Muscle. So I see I have a lot of Muscle Feathers and I know that I'm not going to put Attack EVs, but Every Pokemon has 510 uh, slots for EVs, and two of them are always going to go wasted. You know, 252 um, times two, uh, that's like 504, and then another four is 508, so that means there's two left. So all these Pokemon, once they're fully EV trained, are going to have two empty slots. So what I like to do on special Pokemon, I like to just give them two Muscle Feathers right off the bat. Boom, there's two Muscle Feathers. I'm going to give two to Dino. Boom. I'm going to go two on Gastrodon. And can't forget about a Spothra. Damn, I didn't mean to leave you out. But what that's going to do is when I'm EV training, if I ever want to, uh, you know, remove or change EVs, those two will always stay there and I won't care about them. So basically now I've capped my Pokemon at 508 instead of 510. And it just makes it a lot easier to do the, the EV training. Um, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. It's whatever. Do with that information what you will. But now i got to find more Mari because they've all run away. They saw themselves getting slaughtered up. So I did something else. You know, I might have lost track of how many I was doing. But boom, I can go right back. I see, okay, I've done six. So I've done six battles. Here's the seventh one. And now we just need 10 more for Slowpoke before I take off Slowpoke's brace. So let's go and see if we can't find some small lives. Where are these little green boys running around? I gave too much work to the Mareep already, but... I'd like to go for it. Alright, there's a Mareep. And the thing is, if you go into an area and you figure out what each Pokemon yields, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to EV train, because... Um, now, none of those Pokemon did give special attack, but if there was one that gave special attack and I didn't know it, you know, I would have wasted a lot of time looking for a Pokemon when there was already one there for the taking, so. I'm gonna just run around here and go to a different pasture. We've kind of used that pasture up. We got Combies over here. I just want Smallives and Mareeps. Boom. Bunch of Ma Smallives. There's another five over there in the corner. Now, the annoying thing about Smallives is when you're battling them, they run away like that. So you got to chase them down. That's why I like Mari better. Because um, it seems like when you're beating up Pokemon, more and more of that same Pokemon appear. Like the game knows that that's what you're looking for. So We're getting there. We've used 10 of our quick attacks. So 7 more and the slow poke will be ready. Yo, let me know in the comments. Oh. And if you run into a Pokemon that you don't want to battle, that's okay. This little Krikatot got me. I believe Krikatot gives out defense. I don't want to deal with Krikatot right now. 
uh, let me know in the comment section what you're having the most fun with what is it about this game that you're really liking things you don't like that's cool too but let's talk about it and uh, maybe if there's something that's that's difficult for you uh, someone else in the comment section or myself will have maybe a solution that can make it all a little bit easier for you so um, I, I think this game is really fun one thing I'm not stoked about is how they tr they changed the breeding mechanics. Now you pretty much have to make a sandwich to get eggs, or else it takes forever, or sometimes you won't even get the egg. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. And it is cool that you don't have to be at the screen. You know, eggs will just collect 10 at a time. Um, it is kind of annoying because you can't get eggs quite as quickly as you used to, uh, but it does make it easier for people who don't you know, really care as much about the breeding to get a bunch of eggs at once. So without having to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You can just sit in the same spot and the eggs will mount up. So we are getting close to our number for Slowpoke. 15, or I think that was actually 14. That was 14. Um, Let's get me another small live, boom. I got enough small of well to cook a feast right now. Okay, yeah, this this right there, that was 15. So, two more, which will put leave me at 13 PP, is all I need for Slowpoke before I take off his brace. So, once I take off his brace, remember, he's only going to have 153 I guess my slowpoke is a girl. She's only gonna have 153 EVs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off her brace, do three more battles. Now my next number after 17 is Hydreigon needing 21 battles. So, um, boom. That's the last small live. Slowpoke got to a nice crisp level 10. I take off slowpoke's. Uh, Power Lens. So now these Pokemon are getting nine per battle, but Slowpoke's only going to get one. So I'm going to do three more battles before I take Slowpoke out of the party. And so you can see, seven, 30 minus 17 is 13. So we did enough for Slowpoke. There's one. Here's two. And say for instance, the next Pokemon in line needed uh, less battles with the band than Slowpoke needed without the band to finish his, uh, or sorry, with the lens to finish his, her EV training. Um, then I would just, in that case, use feathers. But right now, because Slowpoke only needed three more, and uh, Hydreigon needed four more from, from 17 because 21 minus 17 is four. Then I know, okay, boom. So I just finished the EV training for Slowpoke. I have one more battle before I need to take the lens off of Hydreigon. So I'm going to go to my boxes. Slowpoke is done. I got Slowpoke all of the special attack EVs she needed. I need one more battle with the lens before I take it off of Hydreigon. So I'm going to do this last battle right here. And you can see, Hydreigon, 196 divided by 9 was 21.7. One more quick attack, that'll put us at 21. So it'll only have that 0.7 left. So then we do the math. 21 times 9 is 189. I want 196 EVs of special attack on my Hydreigon. So that's 7 more EVs. So... What I'm going to do in this situation, um, because I need seven more EVs on Hydreigon, I'm going to take away the band. Um, because this gives it nine, and I don't want to go over. So, boom, I put away the power lens. Now, Hydreigon needs seven more, right? Um, Gastrodon, because we're at 21 battles and Gastrodon is at 24.4 for its, its maximum EVs, we need three more with Gastrodon before I take the band off. But a Spothra needs 25. So being that we're at 21 and 25, four, that means that I can I can do all of a Spothra's battles with Hydreigon 
and not go over the 196 that I'm trying to do. So, um, I took off the band from the power lens from Hydreigon. I'm gonna do this last battle, and once you've done the math and you can take a look there, we know that okay, we've done 21 because there's nine quick attacks left. Now we've done 22. So two more, and I'm going to take the, the lens off of a Gastrodon as well. Let's find another small live. Mareep works. And when you're doing this, it's nice to write out the numbers that you need, just so you know, okay, like this is the number I'm trying to hit. First, write down how many EVs each one needs. Divide that by nine and write down the number of battles. Um, and then once you've written down the number of battles, you multiply that number of battles by nine. It'll give you how many EVs you're getting. And you can subtract that from the total EVs you want. And then you'll know how many battles to do without the lens. So I'm going to check, see how many battles I've done. I've done 13 or 23 battles. Um, Hydreigon or Gastrodon needs 24. So I have one more before I take the power lens off Gastrodon. Boom, that's 24. So now we take the power lens off Gastrodon. And Aspothra only needed 25. So I'm going to do one more. Boom. Okay, so now we've done all of the battles we needed with the lenses. So now I'm going to take inventory one more time, take the lens off of Aspothra, put away. So Hydreigon needed 21.7 battles. Um, he needed seven more EVs without the lens. So how many have I done since Hydreigon's battle? Let's see, Hydreigon needed 21, so that meant that I had nine left, so I've done four. So that means that um, because 196 minus 189 is 7, I still need to do 3 battles with Hydreigon. Now, Gastrodon, uh, 24 times 9 is 216. I needed 220, um, so that's 4. And I've done 1 battle already with Gastrodon, so that means that I just so happen to need 4 more. And a spot, or so it's three more. It's three more. Same as same as Hydreigon. Three more. And then a a Spothra, Same thing. A Spothra needs two hundred twenty eight. I have gotten it two hundred twenty five. So it needs three more. So dang, all three of them need three more now. Hydreigon needs three more to reach one hundred ninety six. Gastrodon needs three more to reach two hundred twenty. And uh, Aspothra needs three more from 225 to reach 228. So I can just do these three battles right here, and they'll have the exact number they needed. One... Two, three. So boom, that's it. Really didn't take too long. Definitely less than 20 minutes. All right, so now we're gonna check the work. I'm not gonna add any more EVs. I'm gonna go back into my boxes. I'm gonna pull a slow poke out, right? Now, there's other ways to level up your Pokemon if you don't want to use the items, but I've done a shit ton of raids, so I have a lot of the EV can or the HP candies. So I'm just going to use my candies to uh, level up my Pokemon, all of them to level 50. There they are. So let's go, let's say about three. Let's see how much I give Slowpoke. 31, so we can do another two or three. We'll do three more. 
Oh, we can do plenty more than that. Oh, Slowpoke's evolving. So what I want to do is I want to get them all to level 50. Um, and then go get them properly, uh, minted and hyper-trained. Each one should only need one hyper-training. I think I actually got perfect breeds on a couple of them. But I just want to get them to level 50 first. And then we can check and make sure that they all have the proper amount of EVs that I didn't mess up anywhere. I don't believe I did. And let's do two medium candies. That should be enough. All right. Boom. So slow pokes at level 50. Now we're going to do a Spothra. So we saw that I could probably get away with using like five. A Spothra is going to evolve. Or a Flittle. Yo, Flittle and a Spothra. It's like, how did it turn into that? I guess it's a chick into a big... Lady Gaga rooster. <laughs> Lady Gaga ostrich. Lumina crash. That's the move right there. Okay. Let's do another three or four. That puts us at 46. We'll do another two. 49. And we'll go two of these. And one of these. All right, we got level 50 Aspothera. Now I'm going to get Gastrodon leveled up. Okay, 41. So, just for the sake of um, keeping everybody at level 50... I'm not going to be able to evolve Hydreigon all the way, but what I'll do is I'll just, you know, Hydreigon is supposed to have 196, so in the calc, I'll, you know, keep it as the second form of Hydreigon and make sure that I did enough EVs. But I'm only going to evolve every up to level 50 here. Okay, and two medium candies should do it. All right. Now we'll go high drag on. We know we can get it about eight in there. Do another three. Oh, high drag on needs a lot of experience to level up. Okay. And then one medium. That boy levels up right at level 50. I don't think Hydreigon evolves in, or it evolves into Hydreigon until level 64. Super high level. Okay, so we got, what is it, Zwellis it's called? Yep, boom. So all these Pokemon are at level 50, right? Level 50 is what you need to EV train, or to hyper train. Let's see which ones need to be hyper trained. Nope, Zwellis is good. I need to hyper train Gastrodon's HP. A Spothra is perfect breed, and I need special defense on that boy right here, so. Dang, that's pretty good breeding, if I should say so myself. Alright, so I'm going to go over to the Hyper Train City, which is up here in the mountains. Montenevra, Montenevera. And get the boys hyper trained. So boom, you talk to this guy right here behind the Pokemon Center. I got bottle caps for you, my boy. Gastrodon's good. Slowpoke needs special defense. I got 13 bottle caps. I want min attack and min speed on this boy, so I'm gonna leave those the same. Voila, hyper training complete. Yeah, let's do one more. Spother is good. As well as is good. It's Gastrodon needs HP. All right. Start the training. Okay. And then we need to mint. 
So let's see. Some of these actually are already the correct nature. I want no, they're not. Yeah, none of them. Oh, except for Aspothra. So I want Quiet on Gastrodon and Slowbro. And I want Modest on Zuelis. So go over here. Where are my mints? We got plenty of Terra Shards. Here's the mints. So I'm going to go Modest for Hydreigon. And then I want Quiet on Gastrodon. And quiet on this boy. Okay, so now everybody has the right level. Let's make sure we got the special attacks correct. So, um, I'm going to switch over to my calc. Let's see. Team builder. Okay, so we see here we got Gastrodon, right? Now, Gastrodon at level 50 with a quiet nature. And what was it I wanted? 220 special attack. So he should be at 154. And we know that, boom, Gastrodon has the correct 154. So we did Gastrodon right. Now, Slowpoke, or Slow Bro rather, has 154 as well. And if we look at the calc, slow bro, quiet in nature, what was slow bro supposed to have? Slow bro wanted 156, 154, so we got slow bro right as well. Boom, boom, 154. 154. Now, Aspothra. Aspothra's got 165. Let's go to the calc. Aspothra, level 50. Let's go Modest Nature. Now, Aspothra was supposed to have 228. At 228, Aspothra's 165. We see that there. Boom, 165. And boom, in game, a spot there's 165. And let's go to Hydreigon. So, Hydreigon, modest, 121. I gotta call this a Zuelis. Boom, Zuelis. Level 50. Modest nature. And how many was Hydreigon supposed to have? 196. There it is, 121. So you can see, 121 for Zuelis at 196 Modest. Got it right in here. So boom, that's four Pokemon, all needing different amounts of EVs. Trained to perfection, no feathers, use nothing. I mean, I did use feathers to give them attack IVs, but not special attack IVs. So you can see this method works. You just have to keep track of it. One more time, what I'm going to do is when I'm doing this, I'm going to take all the Pokemon I want. I'm going to put them in order. Slowpoke needed the least. So we're going to put Slowpoke here. Gastrodon was... Oh, Hydreigon was second. So put Ga Hydreigon there. And the Spothor needed the most. Boom. So once you put them in order, you write down exactly how much they need. Slowpoke was 156. Hydreigon was 196. Gastrodon was 220. The Spothor was 228. You divide all those by 9. You write down that number, 17.33 for Slowpoke, 21.77 for Hydreigon, 24.44 for Gastrodon, 25.33 for Aspothra. Then you take those numbers, the hard numbers, you cut off the decimal, you multiply it by 9 because that's how many you're getting per battle. So for Aspothra, 25 times 9 leaves us at 225. So we're going to get 225 EVs from doing 25 battles at 9 EVs each so we know okay since we need 228 we're gonna have to do three extra battles with a Spothra without the lens for Gastrodon 
24 times 9 is 216. Gastrodon wanted 220 EV, so we know we need to do four more with Gastrodon without the lens, so on and so forth. So if you write those numbers down, you know, the number of EVs you want divided by 9 to get the number of battles, cut off the fraction, multiply that number of battle by 9, you'll get the EV result, and then you subtract that uh, EV result from your total EVs desired, and you'll know how many extra battles you have to do. So that's it. We got things done around here. I'm um, looking forward to providing more content, but uh, this was a good one. So thank you very much. Enjoyed your time. We're heading out. Peace.